I'm just gonna say this one time and one time only, and I wanna make it very clear. What it is, what it is, it's your crew, your boys, Daddy Chung Chung, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is? a muck bang! Today's DCC family, we got us a meal. I got some oxtails. Haven't had some oxtails in a while. And we got some jerk chicken. This is from a new place I've never been to. It's called like Golden Crust Caribbean Cuisine. I believe that was the place called. Let's actually confirm that. Because I'm actually going to give them a true rating. Because you guys know... Um, you guys know when it comes to my... Uh, yes, Golden Crust Caribbean Cuisine. When it comes to my... Um, jerk chicken uh y'all know i'm a fan of uncle joe's now there is one spot here in houston that has some really good jerk chicken but it's really there's jerk sauce so this is from uncle joe's i picked this up from chicago but um yeah and before we get started i do want to say one thing just to um answer people's questions and uh this is actually very serious i'm not trying to uh extend this force it or anything i'm just gonna say this one time and one time only and i want to make it very clear i do not have a baby on the way. I'm once again repeating myself. I do not have a baby on the way from any woman. So I just wanted to make that clear. I'm not going to really speak on it. Um, I just wanted to say on my end, I don't have a baby on the way. Okay. All right, ZCC family, let's get a prayer and a thumbnail. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Let's get a thumbnail. Yeah, let's get it in. All right, I should have brought a dipping, uh, I should have brought a dipping sauce, I mean a dipping cup, so I could have this, but I got my fork over here. Let's see what we're working with. Let's go for the oxtail first. I haven't had an oxtail in a hot minute. So these are the oxtails here. Let's go ahead and get this first bite. A little small, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Fall off the bone. It's crucial. And the ice shell, if it's not. Okay. It's good. Oops, I'm glad I didn't drop that on me. It is good. Um. sweeter than I expected. I don't know if jerk, I mean, ice cells are supposed to be sweet. I'm just not used to tasting them sweet, but yeah, it's sweet. I got a little sweet kick to it. What's on? Not the biggest fan of. Ice cells, seven out of 10. Let's try a jerk with no sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. The jerk. It's not giving jerky. <laughs> it's not, uh, I'm not feeling the jerk enough. It's not doing a new boys. You're a jerk, I know. You're a jerk, I know. <laughs> Let me see if Uncle Joe's can make it better. Yeah, brand new, fresh from Chicago. Fresh from the, fresh from the rack. So this is my first, I bought it actually from the store, Uncle Joe's. Let's see if it's actually tasting like, uh, Uncle Joe's, you know, because when it comes to Packer stuff, sometimes they don't be tasting like the original. Y'all know what I mean? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's it. Mm. Ooh, yep. Mm -hmm. That's it right there. That's just bring that chicken up a little bit. Ain't gonna crap. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm 
the jerk chicken though alone that's a six out of ten too all right let's try this cabbage uh, I ain't gonna lie when they was putting the cabbage in I'm like this look low-key dry I'm gonna give it a buck. That's a one out of ten. Almost a zero. I don't like it at all. It's dry, no flavor. I don't know. Let's try this rice and peas. Mm. Now that's good. This is good right here. I'm gonna give this eight, eight or nine. Mm, not nine. I'll give it eight out of ten. The piece is good. All right. Hope you guys like the video. Subscribe. Bye. Not nah, playing, John. <laughs> How's the DCC family doing today, man? How y'all living? Your boy is living. Yes, it's a soda, but it's Sprite zero calories. Um, I always treat myself when I go to my barber shop. Um, he gives these out. He has like soda for us to take for free. And I always get the zero, zero calorie option. He has um, other ones too, but cheers to the zero calories. <sighs> Pretty good. So, I, and actually, it has less calories than my ices. You know, my ices, these be five calories. So, hmm. I don't wonder if the other ingredients. Now, I got some plantains. I ain't gonna cap. I'm just not that big of a of a sweet guy when it comes to you know that. So yeah, it's like that. But um, but uh, what I'll say though is uh, yeah. Well, unless the, the ingredients, the other ingredients in these sodas are worse than than that five calories in that ice. Mm hmm. When it comes to this Uncle Joe's uh, jerk sauce, I can't admit it doesn't taste like the exact replica because the one they make in house. It doesn't, but it's close. It's hard to get that exact taste. When you're mass producing things, you know what I mean. But I'm glad their sauces are hit enough that they had a mass produce. You can buy this on Amazon too. If y'all want to know, really taste of that little Chicago I be eating, buy it on Amazon. Mm. That one's real chewy. This play of ox sales is 20 bucks. Your chicken was 15, 14. I know uh all well, this together. Oh, and I got beef patty. I left it in the kitchen. I got a spicy beef patty. All this together was like uh um forty-seven dollars. I don't know how I left the beef patty in the kitchen. I needed that for the thumbnail too. Today's the weekend though. I'm really excited because I'm a fight fan. Love fights and there's a big fight tonight. Javon, uh, not tonight, but this weekend. Javante Tank Davis is facing Ryan Garcia. For the fellas, who y'all got? For the ladies, your fight fan, who y'all got? Um. I know, and for the ladies who don't watch fighting, if you got a boyfriend, 
he's definitely gonna be talking about it. He's kicking it with his boys uh, on Saturday. <laughs> and they're gonna go watch that fight at some bar. <laughs> Mm. Um, I got my boy Tank. I ain't gonna lie though, that boy Ryan seemed real confident. He seemed real confident. But they both undefeated. And to be honest, it's about to be the biggest fight of our generation. One of them. I don't know if I'll say biggest because Mayweather versus McGregor was a was a very big fight when I was in our generation. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's do one balance shoot. I can't bet against a black man. <laughs> Tank got this though. But like I said, Ryan seemed like you're not going. If, if Tank loses though, it's very devastating to his career. <laughs> but if Tank, I mean, yeah, Tank loses, very devastating to his career. If Ryan loses, it's like, hey, you tried, champ, you know? So Tank definitely got more at stake here. Even though they're both undefeated. This one was making it very difficult to get to the meat. But I'm really excited. Uh, I know we're going to be there all day. Because every place is going to be packed. I know they're charging to get into these restaurants for this. And for us to get a seat, we're going to have to go in early. I would rather really hosted a fight party, but I'm in a high rise. With high rise, I don't have a big enough place for that. But hey, so I got some good news too. A place that I really liked, really wanted. Oh, um, came on the market, and now uh, I'm thinking in my head like, man, who knows if it's gonna be in the market. By the time I, I'm ready to move, and you know, they need to place people right then and there. So I hit up a realtor, talk to them, and see, hey, is it possible you can ask the landlord to see what they'll possibly be interested in? Landlord hit up, uh, I mean, the what's the realtor lady hit up the um, landlord. Bro, first said no. Then, like, the next day, the lady came back and said, he changed his mind and said, yes, he will accept. Uh, a later moving date, and you're gonna secure it now. I'm like, what? So, I um, want to apply, but let's see. I just know, um, you know, if there's other people who are willing to take it now, he's probably gonna look at them and say, yeah, we'd rather have this. And then plus, I'm a single guy, and this is more of a. I'm going back to a house. Um, well, if I get this place, I'm going back to this house. There is a, a condo. There's a loft I'm looking at, but I'm going back to the house. And uh, let's just probably get it in that comment section. If y'all rocking, uh, rocking with y'all boy, won't well, wish nothing but good. Hey, I just asked in your prayers. They say, hey, hope Dalvin gets approved for the place he's looking for, and it's a very smooth transition. Yeah, that's all I ask. This cabbage got to go. That was the worst cabbage I've ever tasted in my life. I ain't gonna cap. I'm not even trying to bag on the restaurant. It wasn't like the customer service bag or anything. It's just, that's cabbage is horrible. Worst cabbage I ever had. Mm. Yeah, when it comes to cuisines, I don't feel like you really try. I mean, not try, but Cuisines, I feel like you don't explore. What I mean by that is, 
like if you like a certain kind of African food, a certain kind of Jamaican food, a certain kind of uh, Pakistani food, you find your restaurant, you stay there. Like you really don't try other ones because you know it's that certain taste. You know, I don't know. My opinion, everybody should be different. Luckily, I found like a place out in Houston, jerk chicken. I really do like besides just Uncle Joe's and in uh, Chicago, but um, yeah, this place is gonna go. And I try a lot of places in Milwaukee. None of them are hidden too, like like the one in Houston does or Uncle Joe's. You know, I was actually talking to my my friend. What classifies a city as a foodie city? You know, some people say Houston is a foodie city. Yeah. Because they have good food. I have many person that don't think it's a foodie city. To me, in my head, the definition of a foodie city is what you're known for. Like, you have foods that you're known for. And you're good at it. You know? Um, or... Or a foodie city could just be... You just got a lot of foods and all your food spots is just great. I don't think he's is a foodie city. I'm okay with one man with you. But, um, and then what they're known for barbecue. And like I said, the best barbecue I had was in Austin. It was pretty good. I ain't gonna have, but I'm not a big barbecue fan, so I can't leave that up to me to say if they have really good barbecue or not. But from all other places, that was by far the best barbecue I had in Texas so far. Black Creek or something like that. Mm. I love this Uncle Joe's. Like me, I think Vegas and uh, Chicago, two foodie cities. And, uh, well, in New York and Cali. I believe all those. Well, I've never been to Cali, so I can't speak on Cali. I've been to New York a few times. Chicago a lot of times. Vegas a time. few times. All those are foodie cities to me. They got some good food. Oh, no. You know who has some good food? When I went to go to my uncle's wedding, Memphis. Memphis got some good food. And, uh, and I just don't give that title out lightly. But, and like I said, everybody's taste buds is different. Y'all may disagree, which is perfectly okay. It's supposed to make the earth beautiful. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, every, every Memphis place I was going to, their food was good. I ain't gonna lie. When I first woke up, I'm taking, I'm gonna give me some oxtails. This is a brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. I think this is about to be the best. Fall off the bone, oxtails. I mean, I gotta say, this whole place all together, I, I'm, I'm never going back again. I'm giving it up. Four out of ten, I don't recommend. <laughs> Keep it one out of jaw. Cause the actual was a good enough where like, oh, y'all are it. Jerk chicken was a good enough where y'all were it. Cabbage definitely wasn't good. The peas are, are, are decent. And I just, like I said, these Ted oxtails are just, these are like mushroom caps. It's the biggest one so far. I mean, I don't know if I'm spud. I'm just used to seeing like look like the shape of stars and be meeting all on all on every corner.
Mm. Mm. But, and uh, it wasn't like a, a main chain, well, not that, to my knowledge. It wasn't like a main chain restaurant. The employees look like they own the shop. They look Jamaican, mm -hmm. I'm assuming. Much of that, I don't know. They had an accent. <laughs> But, uh, I ain't gonna say you're hitting, buddy. I ain't gonna lie, your boy full. I don't know if his boy is just like, hmm, I'm just not satisfied right now. Well, I am full, but I ain't gonna cap. I'm full of the tickle of dog. Today was an earlier video. I got things done earlier today. Excited about that. About to get ready. So, um, uh, enjoy my day, man. Like I said, I got this fight. Who what y'all who y'all got your money on? I, ain't nobody. I want to bet. Ain't nobody. I'm not really a gambling man either. But when I know, I mean, no, let me say I'm not a gambler. I do gamble, but uh, I'm not out of control. I actually have a few, <laughs> a few friends who do, who don't know how to control themselves and they gamble. But um, no, I'm not out of control though, and um, I, I am a betting man. If it makes sense, and I know nobody's just going against Davis, even even his fan crowd not even going against Davis. Like, man, I don't know. Like, they got faith in Ryan, but not that much faith to put on a quick Hyundai on it or something like that. But um, I was talking about Bali, like, man, I got, he said a Thawau. I'm like, Thawau? You trying to put a Thawau? You trying to put a Thawau on it? I'm like, man, come on, man. And, you know, it's funny. Me and my homie, and this is not coming up with Barber. Me and my homie were talking about when people put up a certain amount of money that you know that they don't have. I'm not saying he doesn't have this. It's just, it's just funny. But when people put up a certain amount of money that you know that they don't have, that means they don't want to bet. Because people were like, uh, you ever get into it with somebody? I'm like, man, man, put fifteen hundred on it right now, bro. You know, you know, you do not got fifteen hundred. You just asked me for a hundred dollars two weeks ago. You know, you don't got fifteen hundred on you. So I don't even know what you. I, but when they be doing that, I'm like, nah. But but I'll put twenty on it right now. Nah, man, those two small bets, bro. I want 1500 and nothing. You don't got the money. <laughs> if, you're, if you're doing such a crazy amount bet that you, that it might, you just don't got the money. And even if you do, then what's wrong? If you know you're going to win, might as well just take my 20 right quick or take my 100 right quick. You know what I mean? Or take my $300 right quick if you really got it like that. <laughs> but that was hilarious. And he said, I'm like, well, I'm not, I don't think he, because he definitely makes good money. Because, like I tell you, I pay that guy. 100 bucks a week and i'm one client uh, uh, sometimes i think man uh, you know what people because people look at me i'm like man did i get into the wrong profession all you doing is eating on youtube but um you know if i was uh it's like dang did i get into the wrong profession you getting 50 dollars a cut and you're not doing it it's not taking hour cuts you could do that in 30 minutes that's 100 dollars an hour for real you have a ball you know but um no, I do. That's one skill I wish I did know how to do is cut. I, you know, I do like haircuts. But who knows? I may still get into it. I just need to be an owner behind it. Definitely would love to own a bar barbershop one day. But, um, yeah, when he said a thou wow, well, he didn't say the word thou wow, he said thousand. But uh, that's how I say thousand. When he said that thou wow, I'm like, I don't even know. I, ain't got, I don't know if I even got that much confidence in Davis to put a thou hours on it. Cause I ain't gonna lie, Ryan, that boy Ryan, he looking confident, man. I put, I think my max bet I'm gonna put on this fight is three, three hundred. If anybody wanna take it, I probably need to upload this video quick so somebody can take this. No, I put y'all. But um, no, nah, yeah, I just don't see nobody going against Tank. But this is family. I hope you guys enjoyed this meal. Or a jerk chicken at Axel down in the books. Make sure y'all follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is at a chunk chunk. That is Z A D D Y C H U and K C H U and K. But Z C C family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the Z C C gang is on top. Let's get it!